Is everyone ready? Let's do this. Stand up. All right. Tension. Feet together, hands by your side, and bow. Here we go. Let me see everyone. Lay down on the ground. Feet up. Arms straight. And when I count, you're going to do a push up and come back up. Ready? One. Bend those elbows. Two. Three. Four. That's it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good, stand up. Feet shoulder width apart. One arm on top of the other. And when I count, you're going to squat all the way down and come back up. Yes, sir? Here we go, ready. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Sit down. All right. Here we go. When I say you're going to lift your feet up, you can put your hands on the ground like this. When I count, you're going to crunch and come back out. Yes, sir? Here we go. So hands back, feet off the ground. Ready? One, two, three. Don't put your feet back on the ground. Feet off the ground. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Very good. Lean back, feet in. When I say we're going to lift ourselves up, and when I count, we're going to front kick. Yes, sir? Here we go. Ready? And lift up. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Down. Very good, everyone. Stand up. Very good. Tension. Feet together, hands by your side. Bow. Student Creed. Hands by your side. Hands completely by your side. And repeat after me. I will develop myself in a positive manner. and avoid anything that can reduce my mental growth or my physical health. One clap. Hands by our side, not scratching our arms, not pulling onto our belt, hands by our side. <coughs> Sorry, good. Shane, tension please. Shane, tension please. Feet together, hands by your side. Feet together. Come on, Shane, go to attention. Shane, feet together. I will develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. 
two claps. I will use what I learned in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow human beings and never to be abusive or offensive. Big claps. Now let's just remember, attention means hands by your side, not having your hands out in front of you like this, not looking out the window, okay? Hands by your side and feet together. Not like this, feet together. And you should still be at attention. All right, here we go. Ready? Squat down. Kick one leg out. Kick your other leg out and slide those feet out. Knees off the ground. Knees should be off the ground. Good, Ricky. Come on, Shane, slide out those feet. Good, sit it back, feet together, reach down to your toes, good, lean back, one leg over, and twist. Good, switch and twist. Good, feet out. Take this foot, take your ankle, put on your knee, grab that ankle and pull it in tight. Good, out, other ankle on your knee and pull it in tight. Good, out, on your knees. And go ins and outs, ins and outs. Good, and hands on your lap. All right, everyone, let's talk. So, this week, our life skill we're talking about, we are talking about self control. Can anyone tell me what self control means without saying self or control in your ex explanation? I know you've all heard of it. No one? Okay. So, how would you say self control then? Do you have to say self or control with it? Does that make it easier? All right. Joshua. To control yourself. Okay, good. <laughs> to control yourself. Right. So, self control is having the strength inside yourself to make good decisions under um, certain extreme situations, okay? All right, has anyone, raise your hand if someone's ever made you really mad. You got so mad, like your head was about to explode and you were about to do something just mean back to that person. Have you ever had one of those moments? But did you, did you go, did you lose control? Yes, some of you have, and I know, okay? Now, you have to think about this. 
if let's say a mean kid at school called you a name or pushed you, that's going to make you angry. That would make anyone angry, but not so angry where you're going to want to fight back, where you get up, go up to him and push him back or call him a name. Okay. That's losing control. You don't want to do that. So you have to think about the consequences. Do you know what consequences are? Yes, Joshua. A punishment. A punishment or like a result of what happened, okay? So a consequence of doing something bad, like if you got up and pushed that kid, you'd probably get in trouble too. Now the bully started it, but the fact that you got up and went to them to go push them back, that's not a good look either, okay? So again, you have this is the most important part of this lesson. You have to think about the consequences of the action you choose, okay? If you walk away and go report report that to a teacher, that'll be a much better consequence than you get up and try to fight that kid, right? Now, it's not just about being angry if, if you're in an extreme situation, if you're under pressure, okay? It also takes control to stand at attention when we're saying the creed, right? Hands, keeping our hands by our side, not playing with our belt, scratching ourselves, or walking over to the window, right? You also have to be able to control your body and stay still when you're supposed to. Or if we tell you go in your sparring stance, being able to hold it and not go. If you can't control yourself to keep your body up, okay, then it's something you need to work on, right? So there's all different kinds of self-control. Control your emotions and actions whenever you feel under pressure, if you're angry. You've all been angry before, right? Yes, okay. And there have been times where you felt really under pressure about doing something, right? Okay, when you're under pressure, like you just feel like your head's shaking and you just don't know what to do, right? You, you ever had that? Okay, but the point is you gotta be able to control yourself. Yes, sir? All right, and think of it this way. Like I said, you have to think about the consequences of your actions. If I say attention, and you like walk over to the window or play with, and play with your belt, a consequence would be me having to remind you, call you out, and you don't want to be called out, right? No, so. Not for that. Not for that, right? Okay, so when I ask you to go to attention or do something, you do it, right? The right way, yes sir? Does everyone understand? All right, so here we go, let's move on. Our skill of this week we're working on is technique. And who can tell me what technique means? Now you know a list of techniques, but what's the definition of technique? Jamal? A skill. The skill, yes. Anything else, anyone? Ricky? How you do it. How you do it, right. The quality of your moves, okay? So we're gonna work on drills there to really just help us build more powerful hand and foot techniques. Yes, sir? All right, good, here we go. Let me see everyone, stand up. Here we go, tension. Now, if you do this, our next part of class here very, very well, we'll make this quick and move on, okay? But it all depends on you. Ready, tension. When I say we're gonna go to ray position, step forward, front stance, downward block. Now, if I see a straight leg or hand on your hip like this and not a tight fist, we're gonna keep doing this over and over. But to do it not as much, bend that front leg, hand on the side of your leg, and hands chambered, yes sir? And body facing the front way, yes sir? Let's try it, Ready? Right? Take a few steps back, so you got some walk-up room in front of you. Here we go, tension. All right, good, Ricky, you're very far away, very good. Ready position. When I count, make that X, step with that left leg, and front stance, downward block. Ready, one. 
There we go. Can we see that again? Ready, two. There we go, much better. Ready, three. Other hand chamber, there we go, that's it. Make sure you guys have your bodies turned towards me. There we go, Ashton. Shane, bend that front leg. Ready, four. Tight fist on your belt, nothing opened. Ready, five. And ready position. Tension. All right, that looked pretty good. Everyone had their front leg bent. Ashton, you can stop hitting your head on that, okay? You, a lot of you had your bodies forward. That was good. Let's do some more time. If you can do all the correct things, here's the list of the things you need to do. Hands chambered, okay? Front leg bent, all 10 toes facing the front, body facing the front. Did you say front leg bent? Let's say it's those four things, okay? And a good downward block, five things. If you can do all those five things real well, I'll do, I'll do 15 push-ups right in front of you. Do you want that? All right. So if I just see one of you go like this, I don't do it. I don't get to do it. If I see one of this, I don't do it. If I see this, I don't do it, okay? So, you all know what you have to do, right? Deal? I, I think maybe if they don't do it properly, they should do push-ups. Oh, Miss Heidi, I like the idea. If, none, if not all of you do it properly, you all get to do push-ups. You only get, have to do five, okay? So, if I win, you do five. If you win, I do 15. Deal? Joshua Jamal, deal? All right, here we go. Let's try it. Step back. Ready. Tension. All right, we're watching closely now. Ready position. All right. I should see a good ready position to start, too. Two tight fists. <laughs> When I count, make that X and step forth that left leg. Ready, one. Ready, two. Ready, three. And four. Ready position. Tension. All right, that was much better than you guys usually do, but I saw some like this. Wasn't a tight fist on the way. So everyone, five push-ups, go. Oh, Ricky clapping push-ups, I like it. <laughs> Yasin, did you even do push-ups? I just saw your head go like that. You got to scoot back so I can see you. I can't see your body. Okay. All right, good. Here we go now. Let me see everyone. Tension. Feet together, hands by your side. All right, let's move on to our technique drills. Are we ready? All right, here we go. Have a seat for a moment. So our first drill, this is called combo dash. Say combo dash. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to say three moves, okay? Then I'm gonna say go. When I say go, you have to do those three moves in that order, yes sir? I'm gonna see who gets it done first. I'm gonna see who gets it done correctly and perfect. Yes, sir? So if I were to say, look here, if I were to say hook punch, rising block, side kick, it should go 
like that, right? It shouldn't be like this. That was a roundhouse, okay? So I want you to use got perfect technique. Yes, sir? And if it helps, you can say the technique in that order too to help you remember when, I, when you hear me say it. Is everyone ready? So I got Miss Heidi on the side here watching with me too. We're gonna see who has perfect technique. Is everyone ready? Here we go, stand up. Feet shoulder width apart, hands up. Now it doesn't matter which side you use unless I say that side, but if I were to say, Rising block, punch, front kick. You could do one side or do the same side, okay? But it's good to mix both sides up, okay? Just don't use one side the whole time. Here we go, ready? Hands up like this. So you have to wait after I say go to do the whole combo. All right, so facing me, ready? Hook, punch, front kick, side kick, go. I got stuck on watching. All right. Then we're stuck. <laughs> I think I think Joshua got that one. Very good, Joshua. Joshua, Jamal, you guys got to scoot away from each other. You're going to hit each have, other. Have Jamal, step back and Jamal let me have you step back because right. I can see you still back there. All right, so Jamal got, um, Joshua got that one. Ready, hands up. Ready. Uppercut, rising block, downward block. Go. I saw Jamal and Ashton both got that. Very good. Here we go. Hands up. Ready? Sidekick, rising block, punch. Go. All right, good. Um, all right, I, it was either Jamal or Joshua in that one. I think there's some of the kids are lagging. Because, like, Shane started way late, and I think it's because he's lagging a little. Here we go. Hands up. Ready? And uppercut, punch, roundhouse. You, you didn't wait for my go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Let's try it again. Ready? Hands up. Uppercut, punch, roundhouse. Go. All right, I think Ashton got that one. Here we go, hands up, ready? Side kick, downward block, punch, go. All right, good Shane, that was a good one. Ashton's fast. <laughs> good, here we go, ready? Roundhouse, punch, rising block, go. All right, good Ricky, you got that one, good. Ready, and hook punch, uppercut, front kick, go. You guys know all these moves, I know that. Ready, hands up. Ready, hook, hook, uppercut, go. Why, no, some of you just going like that. Here we go, ready, and hands up. Downward block, rising block, punch, go. All right. Ready, punch, punch, hook, punch, go. All right, good Brody, you got that, very good. Ready, and go. That's right, Malachi, <laughs> what? Here we go. Side kick, roundhouse kick, punch, go. All right. When you do side kicks, kick out to the side, so I know you threw a side kick, okay? Malachi did a hook kick. Here we go, ready? Punch, punch, rising block, go. Okay, good, tension. Very good, very good. You guys can have a seat. 
All right, here we go. So our next drill, this is called Crazy Basics, okay? So you know all of your techniques, right? You got jab, let's look here. You got jab cross, hook punches, uppercut, rising block, downward block, side kick, front kick, roundhouse kick, okay? There are others there too. When I say go, you're gonna have 20 seconds to throw as many different techniques as you can. But once Ms. Hayer, I see you pause, trying to think about the other move, then we'll call you out to say, have a seat, okay? So when I say go, it looks like this. You're gonna go like this. All right, all other different kinds of techniques, okay? Now, once you pause to think about it, then you'll have a seat. Yes, sir? All right, let's start, let's start with 10 seconds, okay? Less time, all right? It'll make it easier for you because you won't have too many techniques to do in 10 seconds. Here we go. So everyone, stand up. Ready, hands up. And when I say go, you got 10 seconds. Let me see good techniques. Just don't go. Or that, okay? I need to see good technique there. Ready, set, go. Stop. All right, I saw a couple people that paused. Okay, it's all right. Let's get those belts on. Let's try that again. We'll do another round for 10 seconds. Your goal is to not stop. All the techniques you know, keep going with them. Ready, set, hands up, go. Good, stop. Okay, very good, very good. Attention. Feet together, hands by your side. Very good. Have a seat again. So that was like a quick, easy drill there. Just make sure that you guys know all your techniques. Let's see. All right. Who's got good balance? Jamal, did I wake you up? Were you taking a nap there? Okay, so. All right, so here we go. Our next drill, this is called one leg champ. Say one leg champ. Here's how it's gonna work, okay? When I say, you're gonna have your hands up, feet short with apart. You're gonna bring one leg up and you're gonna do as many hand techniques as you know without putting your leg down. Once you start hopping or drop the foot, then you're out, yes sir? So look here, your goal is to keep your leg up and do different hand techniques. Remember your, remember your windshield wiper blocks and your scoop blocks, okay? All right, you got your inside arm block, your outside arm block, okay? You got your punches, hook punches, uppercuts, okay? So for about, let's, well actually no time, we're gonna see how long you can do all your hand techniques with one leg up, yes sir? Is everyone ready? Now, your knee must be up to your belt. If I see you lower it or Miss Heidi sees it, we'll tell you to sit down, okay? So you must keep it up. Yes, sir? I wouldn't start right now. I would save your energy for that, Ricky and Malachi. Ricky, I put the leg down. No, I, no, put the <laughs> leg down so you can rest it. Here we go. Let's stand up. You okay, Brody? Here we go. Feet shoulder width apart. Hands up. When I say go, bring that one leg up and let me see all your hand techniques. Not yet. Ready? And 
go. Oh, I see some hopping. Aw, oh, Shane. Have a seat, bud. Ashton. Ashton, you're dancing, man. Dancing Joshua, Laura, sit down, Joshua. That leg was down. Who can keep going? Who can keep going? I got four left. I don't see your leg, Brody. Your, the screen's cutting you off. No, I can see it. Okay. Mistake. can see it. Good. Down, pick it up. Bouncing too much, Jamal. Jamal, stop. You're putting your foot on your knee. I can't allow that. Sit down. Oh, Malachi. Good. I saw that. Stop. All right, Ricky and Brody, the brothers, they got it. Very good. All right, good. Stand up. Let's do this again. Now, this time, you're going to bring up your other leg. Guys, please listen. When you do this, try your best to keep your leg up. When your leg gets tired, don't go, okay, I'm done. All right? Don't do that. See how much you can do. If you don't challenge yourself, your skill won't exceed that much, okay? So challenge yourself. Keep that leg up the whole time. Ready? Hands up. Ready? Brody, you can stop punching me. Ready? And... Go. Oh, no, that's close. Jamal needs to get his leg up. Higher, Jamal. Higher, Joshua. Let me see if you can keep going. Higher, Jamal. That's Brody's his leg. Brody's your leg up? There it is. All right, this is better than your last round. Good. Oh, Ashton. Oh, Shane. Ashton keeps falling over and pushing himself back up. Ashton has nothing on the chair or something. Joshua and Jamal, your legs are down. The Ashton switch feet. <laughs> good. Stop. All right, that's good. That's good. Here we go. Have a seat. Okay, good, everyone. Here we go. Let's move on to our game now. Remember one of those virtual games where you had to chop soup and do all other stuff? We got a different one now, okay? This time, we're going to avoid getting burned by the fire, okay? So we got to move out of the way of the fire. Are you ready? Now you're going to have to punch some stuff, kick some stuff, duck, jump, dodge out of the way. So be ready. Yes, sir? All right, get up. Hands up like this. Ashton, where did you go? Here we go. Put your hands up. All right, Miss Heidi, let's show them the fire. The fire rises. Here we go, guys. Fire ninja. Punch, kick, looks like roundhouses, jump over the fire, duck below the fire, dodge the fire flame. Roundhouse kicks, jump. Good. All right. Was that pretty easy? All right. The fire is going to go faster. Are we ready? You okay, Ashton? All right. Remember, if you play with fire, you're going to get burned. So don't play with the fire here. Here we go. Ready? Hands up. Where's my play button? <laughs> block. Do your scoop blocks. Scoop.
Very good. All right, show me how you did your blocks. I was doing the scoop blocks. Show me how you did yours. All right, good. Let's see what else it adds on. Here we go, level three, hands up. Good. Stop. Very good. Very good. Do you guys like that? Here we go. Sit down. All right. You guys have bumped that game? Who got burned? All right, everyone. So here we go. This is the last week. Listen, this is important. I want to see everyone's eyes on me. There you go, Brody. <laughs> Here we go. So this is the last week that we're going to do Zoom classes on Thursdays, okay? Starting next week, we're only doing Zoom classes on Tuesdays, okay? So, the, so if you still can't come to the dojo here for class, there are other ways how you can still get your second class in. After you do the Zoom class, okay? Your class will be recorded, so you'll be able to do it later in the week, as some of you have done before, okay? We still have the live classes, which I recommend you guys come back here to the dojo and train, okay? If your parents don't want you to, we understand, but you'll get better instruction, better drills, and better attention if you come back here. So if you really want to come back here, ask your parents if they're okay with it, okay? The class is only to 11 kids. Yes, sir. And the other way that you can get class credit is if during the, each live class here, we Facebook live class for the parents that watch outside, you can train to that class Facebook live. If your parents get a picture or video of you doing it and they post it to Facebook, we'll give you attendance credit. Yes, sir. Three claps. Were you guys listening to me? All right, show me your fox ears. All right, show me your moose ears. Antlers, good. Show me, show me your binoculars. Show me the Star Wars binoculars, rectangle. Very good. All right, so that's that. We have our, we, 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 yeah. we will be having a test coming back up. The next belt test probably mid September next month mid September so we're gonna have some runs remember the runs we used to do we're gonna get those back we'll let you know when we'll have the runs they'll be on Saturday mornings but mr. K will let your parents know which ones yes sir so be ready to run if you want to earn your Superman strike yes sir all right very good everyone up on one knee Hands up, take out claps, stand up, tension, bow, high ten, and you guys are dismissed. Very good. Bye. Bye.